play surges forward. Possibility! Welcome back to another episode of Retro Football. Dave is with me, as always, on that virtual couch. And we are playing... <laughs> We are playing Mia Ham Soccer on the 64. Mia Ham, if you didn't know, guys, I have to put my hands up here. I read up on her before making this video. She was an American professional soccer football player, plays, played as a striker, and is a bit of an icon in the US, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I um, have to be honest, we are venturing into the unknown with this one. This is a game that I've never heard of. Yeah, Nintendo 64. Um, I don't know if this appeared on other systems. I don't think it did. Hence the 64 there in the name of the game title. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. You could do a US League season. So very heavily US sponsored, US soccer. Um, maybe it only appeared in North America as well, Dave. Yeah. Now, these menus are actually starting to look familiar. This looks like World League soccer, which we did get. And in fact... Shameless plug, we featured it on the channel. Uh, we did a few weeks ago, actually. Let's... Yes, we did. Uh, human, I think... We... This is this could be two-player. There's a controller select screen. Okay. So if you press, if you go for that, we'll play versus New York. And there's a screen where we can both select a side. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. No. No. So you go down to continue. To have... There we go. You have to have two oh, human have have... teams. And you have one so far. Oh, really? Okay, that's strange. Strange. Uh, yeah, there's the teams, guys. They... I, I don't know if this is women's soccer. I know it's a silly thing to say. I assume it must be. Because um, I don't recognize those game uh, games, those names at all. You can insert no. your rumble packs now, apparently. Let's uh, see what this is about. Don't... We don't need to. Right, okay. <laughs> yes, so it's women's soccer. Look, look at the player models, man. Um, <laughs> I don't know if we're going, if you're going to be playing this. I hope you are. Well, that's me going up and down on the on the analog stick there. Okay. And Let's that's the look. AI. That was the AI, wasn't it? Because I don't think you were doing that. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I don't is... know if we're both playing. We'll, we'll we'll soon find out. Okay, we'll, we will find out in a second. Okay, it's just me, isn't it? Yeah, you get to play this beautiful game, mate. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, okay, that shoot somehow. I don't know what I did then, but that shoot. Oh, my God, the players. Is that commentary or is that the players talking? I guess it's the players talking. Let me just see if I can change these cameras like we can in World League Soccer. Hi, there we go. Yeah. Because for me, this looks really, really bad. Okay, that doesn't look much better. Is there any other options? No. No. There is no other options. Yeah, this doesn't look good, mate, does it? No, it basically looks like World League Soccer, which we've covered previously, oh. and they're going to score past me. So, mate, tell the viewers first impressions of this. It is absolutely woeful. It basically is World League Soccer, which we've played. It is identical to it. So, with the US women's soccer team license slapped on it, and they've just given it a bit of a facelift, maybe? It looks bad. Yeah, it is. It's very bad. And, of course, I know I'm going to say it, and I say it every time. The N64 controls, I just can't get used to them. That C stick, those buttons... Yeah, it doesn't work for me. Whenever we feature an N64 game on the old school series or on this retro football series, we always say that because we always struggle with the controller. Yeah, it's one of those things. Now, back in the day, I've got to be honest, I struggled with the controller even back in the day. So it's not the fact that I'm trying to use a dual shock controller instead of a, an N64 mm -hmm. pad. I'd still struggle even with a real pad. I, I hated it. I, I, I remember asking a friend of mine, you know, how's best to hold the thing, let alone play games with it. Yeah, do you hold it with one hand or two? It was a very strange, uncomfortable, clunky controller. Or is it some weird co-op where you have to have another player to give you a third hand? Hmm. This... <laughs> <laughs> this is... Uh, 
This is bad. It's, it's cool that there was a woman's uh, or women's soccer game around this time because that's quite ahead of its time because the women's game now is very popular but it wasn't so much back back then so it's cool to see that women's football needs more exposure but yeah it's a shame it it's a shame it's using this engine on on this dreadful uh, yeah but basically whatever the game was you say this is based on the uh, world e world league soccer yeah it was based on originally world league soccer 98 which yeah, not a great game. We've covered it. Neither of us particularly liked it because it's not a good game. And unfortunately, neither is this. Yeah, this looks bad, guys. I think we'll I think we'll leave it there because there's not a lot more to say about this. Look out for more content <laughs> coming to the channel. Um, we've got some arcade memories videos in the pipeline. I know I say this every week, but we have, guys, more old school and other content. So keep an eye out for those videos. Oh, it's another one. It's two now. <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah i, I was gonna say dave is is going to enjoy playing more of this this evening i don't think he is uh we'll speak to you all soon take care